What's up, guys? You're listening to the Hustle Inspires Hustle podcast with Alex Quinn on Revolver Podcasts. I'm an investor and entrepreneur, and throughout this journey, I've worked with and come across some incredible people and experiences that I would like to share with you. On the podcast, my celebrity guest and I will be talking about self-development, entrepreneurship, and overall hustle. If you want to survive this journey, you'll need a strong support system. So we got here as fast as we could. This is Alex Quinn, and you're listening to Hustle Inspires Hustle. What's up, guys? You're listening to the Hustle Inspires Hustle podcast with Alex Quinn. And today I want to talk about something really, really important that a lot of you guys ask me about and something that's really helped me in developing my career and my businesses. And that's how to successfully reach out to people on social media, how to successfully communicate with them, make sure you get a response and really make sure that you're able to get your message across without being left on scene and without missing out on the opportunity of getting done whatever it is that you're trying to get done. So one of the one of the big things that people overlook is Instagram. You know, a lot of people want to go to LinkedIn to be able to reach out to somebody, which is a great idea, but you got to realize that people spend most of their day on Instagram and people are using Instagram messaging all day long, DMing people back and forth, pictures, videos, people are on Instagram many, many hours of the day. And that's probably the best way to get a hold of them. You got to find people where they're spending the most time. So something that people tend to overlook is the video capabilities that an Instagram story has. If you're trying to reach out to a company because you want to work on a project or you're trying to reach out to somebody because maybe you want to collaborate with them or even, you know, open up the doors of the opportunity for anything else. Maybe you have a podcast and you're trying to get a guest. You should send the video in something that's very personalized. Hey, if the person's name is Alex, Hey Alex, my name is whatever. I have a podcast that talks about this, this, and that. I recently noticed that you were really doing some really cool things that relate to what I'm trying to talk about. And I would love for you to speak about it on the podcast. Let me know what's the best way to get a hold of you or your team, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Make it easy for the person to be able to respond to you. Give them maybe your phone number, your email on, on there and a text message right after you send the video and make it easy for people to be able to respond to you in whatever way is easiest for them. Maybe it's easier for them to just write you back another video. Some people have done that to me. Hey, what's up, Alex? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I would love to do this, this and that. You never know. Some people just text back. Some people are going to leave you on scene and you're just going to have to realize that. But the law, law of average, the more people you hit up, the more people are going to say yes eventually. So that's definitely something that you guys need to, um, need to look out for. Another thing that you should definitely be looking out for is the power of association. Usually when you're active on social media, you're going to realize that you have a lot of friends in common with people that you may look up to or people that you may want to work with. That's a great point because if you guys have friends in common or maybe one of their friends follows you, okay, or, or somebody that they follow follows you, you're going to be able to say, hey, I noticed that we have this friend in common. That's pretty dope. Um, I would love to use them as a reference point. Um, I'm reaching out to you about being able to do this, 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 and that. And even better, if the person that you knew that knows them too, if you've ever done a project with them, maybe you could show them a project as a reference. That way they know that somebody that they fuck with is going to be able to um, attest for you or, or at least know that they did something with you. So that's really, really helped me out when it comes to social media. Um, most of the communication we do for our personal branding, our podcast, anything that we do is really actually reaching out to people on Instagram because that's where they're spending the most time. That's why it's really important to make sure that whatever it is your craft is that you're sharing it on social media. If that, if new, getting new clients is something that you're trying to do, because that's where people are spending, spending their time. That's where people are on in the morning throughout the day at night. If you really get them there by impressing them with what it is that you're doing eventually you're just going to be able to have a portfolio on your instagram a portfolio of your accomplishments i was actually talking about this with one of my good buddies kevin the other day i was telling him bro you're, you're such a badass you're doing all these fantastic fantastic things and your social media is ready to receive all of that like your social media is ready to see all of that greatness that you're working on in order for you to be able to scale a little bit quicker once you start using social media as a tool to go into outreach and and honestly I, I'm mind blown by all the success that we've been able to have just by reaching out to people on social media. And somebody that really points out a lot of the time is a good buddy of ours, Casey Adams. He talks about how people sleep on the DM and how he wants to put them on it. He's been able to build a massive empire on social media and on his podcast, working with world class individuals like Gary Vaynerchuk, um, the guys from Iconic. Like, it's so many crazy things. He's now he's working with K Swiss and he's been able to do it through the power of social media and just. DMing people saying, Hey, what's up? This is my name. This is who I am. This is one why I want to work with you. But more, more importantly, it's 
be bringing something to the table. You shouldn't just say, um, hey, I want this, this or that, or like ask for something. Show your worth, show your value, show what you could bring to the table so they see that you're serious and that they're getting something in return. It's an equal exchange of power, equal exchange of energy and value. Guys, don't overlook this. Don't sleep on it. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. Don't be embarrassed because you never know what doors are going to open through social media. Look how many doors are open for me. You're listening to this right now. We have some of the craziest people in this entire industry getting on this podcast and following this movement and being part of everything that we're doing because we're doing our due diligence and reaching out to people. So if you want to grow your business, you want to expand on your personal brand, do exactly that. Alrighty, hustlers, let's take a quick break. You're listening to the Hustle Inspires Hustle podcast with Alex Quinn on Revolver Podcast. Yeah. All right, guys, with that being said, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. This is really, really exciting. Something that I'm actually using in my everyday life. Jason Stone, Wealth Nutrition. Check this out. Are you a hustling entrepreneur that's always on the go? Are you struggling with brain fog in the morning? Do you need help with focus, mental clarity, and drive? Or do you even sometimes crash and need a midday push to keep going? Do you need to wind down at night for a great nice rest so you can kill it the next day? Well, you need to check out Wealth Nutrition. Check out the complete stack. Focusify, morning motivation and nootropic, smooth energy, midday caffeine and boost, and true rest for nighttime relaxation. Make sure to use code HUSTLE for 20% off at the checkout. And you can follow them on Instagram at wealth underscore nutrition. I'm not going very far. I'm in a rush. It's too uncomfortable. Sometimes I forget. Don't kid yourself. There's no such thing as a good excuse for not buckling up. If you've used any of these excuses or any others, you're putting yourself at risk of injury or death. In 2017, more than 10,000 people were unbuckled when they were killed in crashes. That's 51% of people killed in motor vehicle crashes that were not wearing seat belts. No matter what kind of vehicle you drive, wearing your seat belt is the best defense in a crash. Even if you sit in the back seat, you still need to buckle up. That goes for you when you ride in taxis and when you use ride sharing services too. Cops are on the lookout and writing tickets. So why take the risk? In 2017 alone, seatbelts saved nearly 15,000 lives. So do the smart thing and buckle up every trip, day or night. Click it or ticket. All right, guys. So remember, you guys want to reach out to really cool people that are making waves on the internet, making waves in media. Reach out on social media. Make sure your social media looks good. Start sending videos out on DMs, DMing people videos, introducing yourself, telling them exactly what you want to do. Be short, be to the point, you know, make sure you're efficient. And, you know, I'm going to put it to the test with you guys. I get people that hit me up every single day, dozens and dozens and dozens of people trying to do projects with me. And sometimes it's really difficult to be able to write back to everyone. You know, just this morning, I was reading a DM of somebody that literally DM me. Hi. What is that? I'm not going to write back to hi. You got to be able to vocalize what it is that you're trying to do. When you're, when you're reaching out to people that are busy, you need to know how to talk to them. So I'm going to give you guys a challenge. A lot of you guys want to work with me and do a r- bunch of really, really cool projects. All right. Let's see how many of you guys actually send some videos in. Be creative. See what it is that you could do to make the point of communication happen for us to engage in a good conversation about what potential business we could do. Don't just reach out for no reason. And also don't reach out to people without even knowing anything about them. Genuinely reach out to people because you like what they're doing. You support it or you like it or want to be part of it or want to add to it. Don't just hit up people to waste your time. So you really got to be serious. Hit me up. I take, I, I literally, literally guys not shitting you take the challenge and I guarantee you, one beautiful project is going to come out of that because I'm going to take it seriously. I'm going to look into speaking to everybody and I'm going to give somebody an opportunity to do something really cool. That way we could prove our point and continue growing with each other. Make sure you guys join the Hustle Inspire Social Network, hustleinspiresocial.com. Sign up for our newsletter on the website. See any of your of our recent videos, blogs about self-development, entrepreneurship, hacks on marketing. If you just want to overall get better at doing business, developing yourself, becoming organized, become part of this network, sign up for our stuff, follow the podcast, follow us on social media and stay posted. Thank you guys.
Alrighty, guys, that concludes this week's episode of the Hustle Inspires Hustle podcast with Alex Quinn. Remember to tune in every Monday for new episodes and stay connected with us on Instagram and YouTube for updates and exclusive content, including a video segment of this week's podcast. You can find us on at Mr. Alex Quinn with one N and at Hustle Inspires Hustle. Remember to surround yourself with people who uplift you because hustle inspires hustle.